For the longest time, the only way to experience your favorite Pokemon in Minecraft was a mod called Pixelmon. However, after being nearly uncontested for 13 years, a new mod has risen to topple Pixelmon's mighty legacy. I'm referring to the brand new Cobblemon mod. Cobblemon is a mod that aims to integrate more of the Minecraft experience into the world of Minecraft's Pokemon. It requires more combat, mining, scavenging, and crafting to give players what they need to succeed in this Pokemon world. The question today is, can Cobblemon live up to the massive Pixelmon hype, or will the Pixelmon fanbase ignore this new mod entirely? Today, we'll discuss some key differences between the mods, as well as how I believe the future of the scene will play out. My name is Eerie, and welcome to Cobblemon vs Pixelmon. Firstly, let's talk about what both mods try to accomplish. As stated in the intro, Cobblemon aims to integrate more Minecraft elements to your Pokemon experience. This means most items are craftable, and Pokemon will spawn in a wide variety of biomes with even more diverse conditions. Pixelmon, on the other hand, relies on turning Minecraft into a pseudo mainline game. Some key differences are the inclusion of trainers, generated structures, and hidden loot in the world of Pixelmon. Depending on how much you like the Minecraft experience, that should determine which mod you choose. Now, let's discuss the elephant in the room. The biggest difference between these mods, the models. It's no secret that this model, and this model look vastly different. Pixelmon goes for a sleek, high poly count model while Cobblemon uses a much more basic voxel model. Pixelmon and Cobblemon models are both beautifully made. Pixelmon models look like they've been pulled right from your favorite video games on the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch, whereas Cobblemon makes their models look more blocky to fit with the Minecraft aesthetic. Another thing Cobblemon does with its models is animate them for more than you could imagine. Cobblemon Pokemon have fainting, idle, and some have sleeping animations all carefully crafted, which really adds to the personal relationship you feel with your Pokemon. It goes without saying, Pixelmon is sure jam-packed with more content since it's been in development for 10 years. Cobblemon, as of this video, is only in its 1.3 update, while Pixelmon is in its 9.1 update. That's so many more full-fledged content updates that Cobblemon needs to catch up on. Pixelmon already has Ride Pokemon, a Pokedex, trading, mega evolutions, and a lot more features. Cobblemon devs have confirmed that all these features will also be coming to their mod, but making a quality mod like Cobblemon obviously takes some time. However, Cobblemon has a few features that Pixelmon lacks, such as a comprehensive summary screen, Pokemon that give you perks when you put them on your shoulders, and a Pokemon Arceus style evolution and moveset learning process. It also goes without saying that Pixelmon showcases many more Pokemon than Cobblemon at the moment including all Pokemon from Generation 1 through 8 and Generation 9 currently being added. Cobblemon features a good handful of Pokemon, with favorites like Charizard and Pikachu, but the devs need a little bit more time to model and animate their beautiful artwork. The last thing I'll mention is another key difference between these two mods. Pixelmon still runs on Minecraft's 1.16.5 version, while Cobblemon runs on a much more recent 1.19.2. This means we get to experience the Caves and Cliffs update and the Wild update in the newest Cobblemon mod. This also means you can use more updated mods with Cobblemon than you can with Pixelmon. In the end, both of these mods are fantastic. They both have their own strengths and flaws, but both bring Pokemon to the world of Minecraft. The one thing I'm excited for is all the future content Cobblemon could potentially implement. In fact, check out this video to see 5 features I want to see in Cobblemon, and you'll even learn about some confirmed future updates. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, I've been your host Eerie, and I hope you have a great day.